Hello, this is Chris from the Cinema Savvy Movie Podcast and I'm back with another reaction video today. This one I've put off a couple of days and I have no idea why. Uh, this is just the first chance I've got to sit down, get all these reactions done. There's been quite a lot today. Uh, but this is the Star Trek Beyond official trailer too. Uh, I did a reaction to the first trailer that came out and just to summarise, uh, if you don't want to go and check that out, um, I really didn't like that trailer. I thought totally it was just all over the place. It looked bad. The comedy was terrible. And even to the point where I think Simon Pegg has written this one. Uh, this one hasn't got J.J. Abrams' involvement because he's he was busy with Star Wars. But Simon Pegg even said that that was a poorly put together trailer and it didn't really mirror the script he'd written for the film. So I'm interested to see this one to see if they've improved upon it. Um, I don't want this to turn into a heated debate, but I have always been more of a Star Wars guy than Star Trek. I've never really got into the TV show, although I did really, really enjoy uh, the rebooted J.J. Abrams Star Trek film, and I even like Star Trek Into Darkness. I completely understand why people don't. I agree that it was kind of unnecessary for them to just remake the Wrath of Khan ending, um of what otherwise was kind of an original adventure they'd set up until that point. Uh, they kind of have Star Wars Star Trek in respect to these films, uh, but Simon Pegg is a Star Trek as well as a Star Wars fan, and uh, he has assured that this script is going to be like classic Star Trek, so I think it'll be very different, but I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to watch the trailer now, I'm going to give my thoughts on it afterwards. As I said, because I'm not a Star Trek fan, I might miss a couple of things or a few references or Easter eggs or things like that. So if you are a Star Trek fan, please do drop me a comment, but try to keep it try to keep it civil because I'm not a fan. I know how some Star Trek fans can get, and I know how some Star Wars fans can get. So be nice in the comments. I'm going to watch the trailer now, and then I'll talk about it afterwards. So I'm going to click play now. My dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to it. You spent all this time trying to be your father. Oh, the shot for the first one. Now you're wondering just what it means to be you. It isn't uncommon, you know. It's easy to get lost in the vastness of space. There's only yourself, your ship, your crew. You really want to head back out there, huh? The music's a lot better in this one. What the hell is this? They're boarding us. Oh wow. Did Sulu just get taken out? I know why you're here. Why we are all here. Oh, that's uh, the one who played Giselle from Kingsman. The last thing on his mind. I am counting on it. Idris motherfucking Elba. Fear of death. Is illogical. Fear of death is what keeps us alive. Everyone who goes there, he kills. That's our friends out there. We can't just leave them behind. Unity is not your strength, it is a weakness. I think you're underestimating humanity. Hold on to something! Okay, this looks more like it. Pardon me. He likes that scene. Okay, this, as I just said, this definitely looks more like it. Uh, this looks exciting. I am fully on board with this movie now. Uh, the first trailer came out, I want to say, last year. Um, and then when I went to see X-Men the other day, uh, for the review, um, we got a trailer, we got that same trailer for um, Star Trek Beyond, and I was like, oh yeah, shit, this film comes out this year. i completely forgotten about it. That's how bad the first trailer was. This has definitely got me more excited. This looks more like it, more exciting. 
Um, it's funny. It's got the character interaction in it. It's got some actual nice character moments in this where he's talking about the fear of death and things like that. Idris Elba looks awesome. He's great in everything he's in. Even when he's in a bad movie like Prometheus, he is still one of the best things in it. Uh, he looks fantastic in this. I was kind of hoping, though, that for this movie, they're clearly going to do more. They're not going to stop it at a trilogy. But um, with the whole Klingon interaction in Into Darkness, I was kind of hoping that that was going to plant the seeds for this third movie, which was going to be the Klingon Wars. I thought the Klingons were going to invade, and I thought that would have been a really kind of big ending to a trilogy, if you're going to just look at the first three films as a trilogy. But uh, they clearly want to go beyond this, and, um, you know, I'm all for it. I love this new take on Star Trek. As I say, I'm not a huge, huge fan. I'm very, very much a casual fan but um, I do find them interesting. The first time I went to see the uh, the 2009 reboot, I actually really, really hated it. Um, I was never a Star Trek fan, and that movie didn't gain my attention or anything like that. In fact, I found it really boring. Um, I went to see Star Trek Into Darkness just because it was the new thing out. Uh, the trailers looked pretty cool. I went to see it, and I loved, loved Into Darkness when I came out. My thoughts on it have kind of dwindled a little bit. I still love it, but that was when I realised that it was a remake of Wrath of Khan, especially the ending, and it was a retread. So my praise for it kind of dwindled because I did see other people's opinions on it. Still really enjoy that movie, though. Then I went back and rewatched the 2009 one, and it was like Into Darkness kind of lifted that film up for me, and I saw them as a bigger part of a whole. And this one, based on this trailer, looks like it's definitely going to fit nicely into that series of films. It's going to be a nice placeholder for me for Star Wars. Good fun space adventure movie and that's all you want from Star Trek. I know a lot of people like the more um, intellectual and thematic stuff which is always nice to have don't get me wrong but as long as with all these characters are on board it's a fun adventure that's kind of all I want. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I could say in this movie. Uh, it definitely looks a lot different to J.J. Uh, Abrams take on it. My one concern for it is the director Justin Lee. I am not a Fast and Furious fan um, so I'm not sure if his take will work for Star Trek. Looks fine in the trailer, but again, I have seen this happen before where the trailer looks fine and then the final film is something completely different. So I'm going to have to wait and see. Definitely looking forward to this film now. Um, I haven't checked the comments yet on this one, but I'm sure people are praising this one. It's got a lot of thumbs up on this one. Uh, so that'll do it for my reaction to the Star Trek Beyond official trailer 2. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought of this trailer. Do you think it's an improvement on the previous trailer? Uh, what were your thoughts on the previous ones that have come out? And uh, if I've missed anything, if there's any kind of Easter eggs or anything relating to Star Trek, please do let me know. Anything you like about these movies, just drop me a comment. I try to reply to all of your comments. In terms of what's coming up on the channel, next week we're getting ready for our episode 2 of Timestamp Zero. What that is, is we put the vote out to you, which you can find in the description of this video. Uh, the straw poll voting system. You get to choose which film we watch. We all sit down on a live stream, in a commentary. We all watch the film at the same time and we just talk about the movie. It's very, very close on the vote so far, so you could still sway the vote. Um, as I said, that's in the description below. You can check that out. And also the links to our Twitter and Facebook are in there as well, so you can keep updated with all the videos we bring out and what's coming up on the channel. Uh, we've got our Game of Thrones show, either tomorrow or Tuesday, so look out for that as well. And uh, there'll be plenty more reactions from me, I'm sure, because the trailers are coming thick and fast for the summer movie season. So that'll do it for this video in particular. And until the next one, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.